The Indo Inspect Borescope system is designed for use by technicians in the visual inspection and documentation of medical device lumens and working channels during reprocessing. Our system aids in the visual detection of lumen damage, bioburden deposits, water or moisture, reprocessing tool debris, rust or staining, and other common lumen contaminants. In this training, we will go over the features of the Indo Inspect system, initial setup, use instructions, cleaning and care, tips and precautions, and customer support information. The Indo Inspect features a 13 inch capacitive touchscreen video display, an IP65 rating that's safe for use in decontamination and wet environments simple image and video capture to removable USB storage, on-screen touch keyboard for image and video annotation, intuitive file organization with image and video file review, an adjustable flex and stay scope holder system, and an integrated 100 mm Visa mount system. Tabletop stand and wall arm mount systems are available for installation that best fit your environment. The scope models include high-resolution CMOS video scopes in 2.0, 1.6, and 1.2 mm, the industry's smallest microfiber scopes in 0.8 and 0.5 mm models, scope lengths up to 1900 mm for single-pass inspections with an IP68 rating that can be fully submersed during HLD and soak sterilization with a maximum 1 meter depth all scope models are common to one monitor system. The scopes feature an ergonomic, lightweight handle design with scope holder. Each scope model diameter is clearly marked for quick user identification and push button image and video capture. Other scope features include automatic image white balance, automatic scope LED light adjustment, and an automatic motion detected LED sleep mode feature. To set up the Indo Inspect system, assemble the tabletop stand or install the wall mount arm in the desired location. For the tabletop stand, attach the neck to the base using the washers and screws provided. Install system scope holder bracket assembly. The bracket assembly is positioned between the monitor base unit and the 100 mm Visa mount plate of either the desktop stand or wall mount arm. Use the four M4 by 16 mm stainless steel Phillips pan head screws provided. Attach the monitor to the tabletop stand or wall mount using the Visa mount plate and secure with the screw provided. Plug the 12V DC base unit external power supply into the monitor base unit back panel and then into a grounded 120 volt AC wall power outlet. Insert a removable USB storage drive. Push the main system power button to the on position. The illuminated ring around the front panel system standby power button will turn purple, indicating that the system is in standby mode. Push the system standby power button on the front panel of the base unit. The illuminated ring will now flash blue. The power up cycle time is approximately 30 seconds. The illuminated ring will then turn solid blue. The on-screen image normal condition without a scope plugged in will be color bars. Choose the correct configuration Indo Inspect inspection scope. Remove and store the connector soaking cap and plug into the base unit by aligning the white arrows and inserting connector upwards until locked. This touch button allows system users to easily choose optimized image settings based on the general color of the channel or lumen they are inspecting. Options include light channel, dark channel, and metal channel. Touch to select the best choice for your current inspection your settings choice will be displayed on screen. Your Indo Inspect visual inspection system is now ready to use. Before each use, pre-clean scope shafts using a lint-free wipe or dry cloth. Inspect each system component daily before use to look for any debris, damage, or wear. 
Carefully insert the correct sized Indo Inspect visual inspection scope into the channel or lumen to be inspected. Do not force the scope shaft into your device. Scope insertion into lumen or channel should be smooth and easy. If resistance or scraping is felt above normal friction, choose a smaller diameter Indo Inspect inspection probe for use. Tap the record button to initiate a video recording. Tap again to end video recording. To capture a still image, tap the camera button. A still image will be captured with every button touch. To adjust brightness, touch and hold to slide this button up or down to tailor the system's automatic brightness response based on particular device inspection requirements. To add notes, users can tap either of these two note fields to bring up an on-screen touch keyboard. Notes typed into these fields will become part of the corresponding saved image and video files. They will also be visible when any image or video is reviewed on the monitor screen. The main center area of the screen is where the live image is displayed. The right side of the screen area displays the user's three most recent image or video captures. Users can touch any file to review. The saved image or video will then display in its own window. Users can return to the live image screen by touching the Live button. Users can return to the main gallery by touching the Gallery button. The Image and Video Capture Gallery displays the complete capture content stored on the USB drive. The file system is intuitive and organizes saved content in dated folders. Users can touch any folder or file to review. The saved image or video will then display in its own window. Users can return to the Live Image screen by touching the Live button. Users can tap this button to rotate their live image. The image rotates clockwise in 90-degree increments. The white bar indicates the image position normal to the horizon. Tap on the Zoom button to choose between one-time or two-time digital zoom settings for their live scope image. Tap this Eject button prior to removing the USB drive from the system. To access the system status, tap the gear in the bottom left corner. Scope products should be shipped or stored in their original packaging when not in use. Keep product storage temperatures between 60 and 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep products free from dust, liquids, and strong magnetic fields during storage. For scope cleaning, all Indo Inspect scope models are IP68 rated for full submersion in liquids and can be high level disinfected with the following list of products following the manufacturer's recommended guidelines and mixing instructions. Before submersion, be sure to install the rubber cap on the scope connector by aligning the white arrows and pushing the rubber cap firmly into place. All Indo Inspect scope models can also be wiped down with the following list of products following the manufacturer's recommended guidelines. After high level disinfection or cleaning is complete, rinse the complete Indo Inspect scope assembly in clean water and wipe down with a lint free wipe. For scope sterilization, all Indo Inspect inspection scope models are compatible with the following sterilization systems. Indo Inspect system components are not compatible with any automated scope cleaning or reprocessing systems. The monitor base unit assembly can be wiped down with the following list of products following the manufacturer's recommended guidelines. Do not submerge the monitor assembly. After cleaning is complete, wipe down the Indo Inspect monitor base unit assembly with a lint free wipe moistened with water. Disinfectants and other cleaning chemicals should not be left to dry on the monitor screen. Wipe down the monitor screen after cleaning with a lint-free wipe moistened with 70% IPA for best results. The EP5100 monitor system is IP65 certified and is water resistant and safe for use in wet environments, but is not waterproof. All EP scope models are IP68 certified and can be fully submerged in liquid for routine for HLD and soak sterilization. 
Indo-inspect system components are not represented as being sterile and carry no sterilization efficacy rating. Indo-inspect system components are not compatible with autoclave, steam, high temperature thermal disinfection or sterilization methods of any type. Maintain control to avoid kinks. Do not kink or bend any Indo-inspect product scope shaft into an area with a bend radius that is smaller than recommended or scope failure could occur. Do not expose any Indo-inspect products to temperatures above 120 degrees Fahrenheit. In the event of suspected equipment damage or failure, do not operate or attempt to service the equipment. Doing so voids the limited warranty and could cause harm to the user or the equipment. Return equipment for inspection and service. Please contact AIT Medical for a return authorization number prior to shipment. The Indo-Inspect system does not require a computer interface. Do not plug any cables from Indo-Inspect system into a computer. It is normal that the system components will get warm to the touch. Due to the specific nature of materials required for scope construction, it is common to observe a small number of areas where light is emitting along the scope shaft length due to broken illumination fibers. This does not affect the general functionality of new or used scopes. If you have any questions about the Indo-Inspect system, please consult AIT Medical for system training and support.